First score, not bad. It's gonna be Marvel Superhero Headquarters. Actually, no, sorry, Galactic Outpost. The map. Of course. nice one. Guys, looking for certain pins? Uh, I just got this one. It's your first visit? I gather not since you're. We've been a lot. Yes. So far, we just. Well, and sometimes in here, I don't wear it because it's. Let's check the board inside the Welcome Center here inside Disney Springs. And we got this pin. Next pin stop is going to be here inside the co op. How are you? Doing well, how are you? Good, thanks. Do you want to pray? Yes. It's there inside the co-op. Next up, we're going to check the pin trading store. Nothing there, so we're going to check the Star Wars trading post next. Having this cool white rabbit rollerblade in there. It's a cool pen. That spin board is going to be here inside the Art of Disney. There's certain ones that you're... Alright, next up we're going to hop inside the Christmas store. Spin trading spot, let's point a toy shop. So there's nothing inside the sundry store and that's going to complete our trip here at Disney Springs. Next we're gonna head over to Epcot. Officially in Epcot, first spot right here by UK. Next up, we have the Northwest Mercantile. Hello. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Right, next spot, Disney Traders. <laughs> yeah, two more solid scores there. Good. Joints. <laughs> one of my favorite shirts. <laughs> Over to Nemo and Figment. It's a guest experience sent here by Nemo. Next 
up, Hacienda, and Pintada. I believe that's how you say it. We're in the Mexico Pavilion. Check the fjording here inside Norway. Next up, we're gonna hop inside House of Good Fortune. I'll put one in there for you. You're welcome. Yeah, come, come towards. Be right inside here. I'm going to ask you here. Huh? Oh my god. I hate eating that elbow. That funny bone. Not funny. No, it's not. Bring this pin over there. And here's the board on the way out of the park by UK. Okay, thank you. Next up, we're going to head over to Hollywood Studios. It's very busy today, so probably not going to get any rides in, unless I can sneak on Star Tours, maybe. But other than that, we're just going to hop in the park, do some pin trading, and I'm probably going to set up in SIDS and try to trade with some guests. And other than that, oh, I did get a boarding group for Guardians. My estimated callback is like 6 o'clock tonight, so I guess I'll hang over here till then, maybe. Then head back over to Epcot. And we also got this Captain Marvel, I believe in Germany? Yeah, it was Germany. Next up, we're gonna hop inside Sid's. Who is the youngest princess? Yes, how old is she? Yes. The next board is gonna be here inside Celebrity 5 and 10. The junction was a little crowded, but they did not have anything on their board. So next up, we're going to check Sunset Ranch and hop across the street to Carthay Circle. Next up, we got Carthay Circle. I'm going to check the Runaway Railway merch cart because I have nothing over at Lonsberg. Turn time has officially been called. You call Coral Reefs, which breaks our coastline. Colorful algae bloom in our waters. Hop on to your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. You must really not stop this unusually large man. And you're likely doomed. Rex! You're gonna need it. Noise! Noise! No one's 
we traded for today we had a few of these sets actually um, these were given away during a free little promotional thing that um, Disney Plus was doing in Disney Springs all you want all you had to do was go up to a kiosk scan a QR code fill out a survey and they would give you a little carded set of these two pins here Disney Plus and Hulu just kind of advertising their whole bundle deal and uh, yeah we got like Obviously, we got a couple for ourselves doing the survey, but then we also traded for a few just to have some loose ones, and they make good traders, and they're just good to distribute throughout the family, basically. So, yeah, we got a few additional sets. I'm just going to set these two down, and then we'll get to more of the pins. So, next up, we have this Buzz Lightyear pin. I believe this is a part of a four-pin lanyard set by chance, but, yeah, saw this on a board, went ahead and nabbed it. It's a pretty good pin too. Decent size and it's good quality. Next up we have a Lunar New Year Mickey Mouse pin. I want to say there's like at least 12 of these. Uh, we have maybe four of them now. But these pins are also very cool. Colors are great too. Next up we got this Captain Marvel Disney 100 pin. I've been seeing these a lot on boards lately. I'm assuming they were discounted somewhere and then or probably at the character warehouse or something people ended up buying them all and they just ended up on boards we have a few of these kind of disney 100 character pins so went ahead and grabbed grabbed another just in case and they make decent traders so next up one of these avenger a's this one is hulk part of the hidden disney set that released last year these are these make good traders, and I just, I really do. Out of all of them, these Avenger A's are probably, probably my favorite. Another Marvel pin. We have Hawkeye here. It's a sharpshooter. This is a decent sized pin as well. And it's kind of got that three dimensional uh, texture to it. So it's not like completely flush and flat. And then keeping with the Marvel theme, we have this Wakanda Forever pin with Black Panther on the front. This one is very cool and also decent size as well. And next up we have this pin, Disney's Doorway to Dreams. This is a DVC pin and it's older too from 07, which when it comes to the older pins, we love having we love having them. So Whenever I get a chance to trade for one and it is authentic, I definitely do so. And this was just a cool looking pin. And next up we have this figment from the 50th anniversary mystery set that they had. This one, out of all of them, for me at least, this one was the this one has been the hardest to find. We do have it in our collection, but we never had a duplicate, and I like having duplicates of certain pins and certain pin sets. So, when I saw this one on the board, I was like, yep, got to trade for it. Then next up, love this pin. This is, and I, I wear slides, like, all the time. You can ask Ashley. Like, I practically live in them. And I love this pin. We have the Mickey and Minnie ones. And we have, like, one of the Lilo and Stitch ones. And now I think we might, we actually might have both of these. I'm not, I'll have to double check. But if not... Add another one to the collection, and we'll probably just keep it anyway. And then last pin from the boards. This is pra... I don't know, it's kind of tough. It's kind of a mix-up between this one and the Eva or Eve Slide pin for my favorite on the boards. But I thought this one was really, really cool. White Rabbit, Rollerblade. It's also authentic. 
I've never seen, I don't know if I, I don't think I've seen any of these. If they are part of a series, I assume they are. But yeah, saw this one and I was like, definitely gotta have it. And here are those other Disney Plus and Hulu pins. Just kind of toss them over there. All right, next we're going to get into pins that I traded for while sitting in SIDS. I didn't do a whole lot of trading just because it was, there really wasn't much traffic at all. And it was, I don't know, everybody was riding rides and doing whatever, so there just wasn't a ton of traffic. But I did make a few decent trades, so we'll uh, go ahead and get into those. Starting off with RC from the Hidden Disney series that released last year. In keeping with that theme, we have another one of the Avenger A's. This one is Hawkeye. This is two today. Then next up, we have this Spider-Man. This was part of a, I don't know, there are a bunch of these. They're like shaped like this. They're different characters. I don't particularly love them, but this Spider-Man I thought was pretty cool. So I went ahead and nabbed it. Then next up, we got this pin here. Don't kill me. I do not know this sister's name. In fact, I probably, actually, I don't think I know any of them. But anyway, snag this one. Thought it was a good looking pin. And it's decent size as well. And next up we have this Sally pin. She is very collectible and sought after when it comes to pin trading. Went ahead and nabbed it. Good looking pin. And I don't think we had it yet, so definitely keeping this one. Next up we got this guy here. Don't know his name. Forgive me, all you Haunted Mansion enthusiasts. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the one of the heads that sings or whatever during the Haunted Mansion ride. And um, I want to say this is a mystery set. I'm not exactly sure how many are in it. But we have probably like four of them now, which is good. Next up, we got this one. I love when Leia said this to Luke <laughs> when they first met. Um, but yeah, this one. I love Star Wars. Love Star Wars pins. And I love love the original trilogy as well, of course. And yeah, thought this was a good one, so I went ahead and snagged it. Next up, we have this one here with Goofy. There's a Food and Wine Festival pin with Goofy on it. Yeah, that's Morocco. Yeah, this one was a really cool pin. Hadn't never seen it before, so... Glad to have made the trade. Next up, we have this Pirate Daisy Duck pin. This one is, this one's really cool, I think. It's kind of, it's kind of a two-piece pin here. So she's part of that first part, and then this kind of outer frame, if it goes in focus, there we go. This outer frame is kind of the second part of the pin. But yeah, very cool pin, never seen it before. Next up, we have this Mickey Mouse pin, part of a new mystery set. Anyway, this is one of them. First one I've traded for. Then next up, got another one of these from the Galactic Star Cruiser. I'm assuming these also made it to the character warehouse. Heavily discounted from what they had left over from the hotel, of course. And people bought them up and started trading them. But yeah, never experienced a Star Cruiser. Uh, I would have if it were a lot cheaper. Um, as I love Star Wars, but anyway, I uh, went ahead and snagged it So now we have like two of those and next up we have this one. This is probably my favorite of the uh, Trades I made in SIDS It is Dumbo peeping out of a porthole from a cruise ship So this is actually a Disney cruise pin that you get when you are on a Disney cruise so someone had been on a cruise got these got this pin probably some others and once they got back decided to trade it so yeah went ahead and nabbed it and I've not been on a Disney cruise yet I know I need to do it someday I will I just I haven't gotten to it yet but we'll get there one day maybe and last but not least you got Luke Skywalker and you got Han Solo on the Tauntaun these are both very nice pins. That's going to round it out, guys. So, yeah, it was a pretty good, I mean, quantity-wise, you know, not great. 
but in terms of the pins I traded for, quality wise, they were they were pretty good. Hopefully next time is better, of course. But but hey, I mean it's pin trading. You got your hot days, you got your cold days. That's just it's just how it works. So anyway, guys, this is the full haul for today, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Note: I got Disco Inferno. I was kind of surprised I got that. It's only the second time I've gotten it. I was hoping for obviously September or everybody wants to rule the world. But anyway, it's such a fun ride that it doesn't really matter what song you get. I think that's going to do it from us. I waited about an hour and 15 minutes for Guardians. The attraction did go down for probably about 15 minutes. We were stuck in that last that hallway as you're ascending up to the main like attraction area after the final bit of the pre-show that hallway there we got stuck in there and they kept letting parties in or groups in and it got extremely congested like i'm talking packed in there like sardines but eventually the ride did come back up and it went unfortunately only one side was open after the ride got going again so it was really slow and yeah so it ended up taking about an hour 15 or actually an hour 10. but other than that it was a good time it's a very interesting day we didn't get really anything though. That was the only attraction we did today. Went to Disney Springs. Did not do too well pin train today. In fact, it was a very weird and not so great pin training day. Anyway, I mean, it's, you know, it's a day at Disney World. It's a good day. So anyway, next time we come, we'll make it better. But until then, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry that pins were not great. I did, I did okay in SIDS. I was in there for quite some time, but there was just no traffic, so I really didn't make very many trades, but I made some quality trades. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, stay safe. Tell someone you love them. And keep it magical. See you all in the next video.